Hello. So, yun. Medyo lumalala yung sipon ko. So, please forgive my voice dahil ganito na siya. Okay. So, last voting method for today is the pairwise comparison. So, kapag sinabing pairwise comparison, you compare two, um, two candidates and head-to-head -head yung kanyang comparison. So, you award each candidate one vote whoever wins to a head-to-head comparison. So, the candidate with the most points wins. So, we have candidates A, B, C, and D again for an election. Pag ginamit natin ang pairwise comparison, for example, we compare A and B. Compare A to B. So, all you have to do is check yung comparison ng first choice na letter A and B. So, for 4,000, they prefer A. For 7,500, they prefer B. For 3,000, they prefer A. And for 5,500, they prefer B. So, how will we know kung sino yung panalo sa kanila? So, first is A equals 4,000 plus 3,000, which is 7,000 in total. And next is for letter B, we have 7,500 plus 5,500 is equal to 7,000 plus 5,000, that's 12, that's 13,000 votes in total. So, between the two of them, when you compare them, panalo si candidate B because candidate B has 13,000 votes while candidate A has 7,000 votes. So, 7,000 voters prefer A and 13,000 votes prefer B. So, ang winner sa pairwise comparison na to is letter B. So, we award letter B one point. So, dito na lang natin lagay. A, B, C. Okay. So, kita nyo ba? Lagyan natin ng one point C, B since nanalo siya. So, next, ibarahin natin. compare A and C. So, to check mo ulit yung lahat ng A and C as yung first choice nila. So, for 4,000, they prefer A. So, may 4,000 na C letter A. 7,500 prefer C. And 3,000 prefer A. 4,000 plus 3,000 equals 7,000. Tapos ganun ulit, uh, they prefer C for 5,500. So ganun din, meron 13,000 voters who prefer letter C over letter A. And because of that, letter C wins the pairwise comparison. So we give letter C one point. Compare A to B. So, to check natin ulit which of the following um, magiging result. So, dito sa 4,000, they prefer letter D over A. So, that's 4,000. And 7,500 prefer D over A. So, that's 7,500. Tapos, 3,000 prefer A. So, may 3,000 na siya. And B plus 5,500 equals... Sorry, medyo mahina sa math. So, um, 
Gagamit tayo ng calculator. 4,000 plus 7,500 plus 5,500 equals 17,000. Uh, sorry, ulitin ko. 4,000 plus 7,500 plus 5,500 Mama, 17,000 I'm sorry. 17,000 votes. So, 17,000 voters prefer D over A. So, we award the points to candidate D. So, we one point na din siya. Next, we will compare B and C ngayon since na compare na natin yung A to all candidates. So, candidate B and so, candidate B, okay, 4,000 voters prefer B over C. So, we award you 4,000 K candidate B. 7,500 prefer letter C. So, there, 7,500. Tapos, 3,000 prefer B over C. So, plus 3,000 for letter B. And once again, 5,500 prefer B over C. So we will add them all up. 4,000 plus 3,000 equals well, 7,000 plus 5,500 equals 12,500 votes for candidate B. And obviously, mas pataas yung voters na may gusto for candidate B. So, in this pairwise comparison, candidate B wins the competition. So, we award another point for candidate B. So, meron na siyang two points. C has one, B has one, and letter A has no um, point yet. Next, B to D. Okay. So, ganun alat, same process. You will just check kung sino yung mas prefer ng voters between the two. So, for D and D. 4,000 prefer D over B. So, yung 4,000 will be given to candidate D. 7,500 prefer B over D. So, sa kanya mo yun. Tapos, 3,000 prefer B over D. So, 3,000 will be given to candidate B. And last, 5,500 prefer B over B. So, 5,500 will be given to candidate B. So, add them all up again. 7,500 plus... Plus three thousand plus five thousand five hundred equals sixteen thousand. Okay, so sixteen thousand voters prefer candidate B over candidate D. So with the candidate that has the higher points and sixteen thousand versus four thousand, the winner for this pairwise comparison is candidate B. So we will give another point to Hanya. There. Okay, next, since may isa pang pair na kailangan compare wow, that rhymes. Okay, last is C and D. So, to check nyo lang ulit sino yung preference ng voters. So, we have candidate C and candidate D. Candidate C, joke, 4,000 voters prefer candidate D over candidate C. So, dito sa kanya yung 4,000. Tapos, for 7,500 voters, they prefer C over D. So, sa kanya mo pupunta yan. Tapos, 3,000 voters prefer C over D. So, 3,000 will be given to candidate C. And 5,500 voters prefer D over C. So, plus 5,500. 7,500 plus 3,000, that's 
I'm sorry. I, I suck at mental math. Or siguro tinatamad lang yung utak ko. But, we have a calculator. So, yan. Mas mabilis tayo. Magkocompute. Yeah, tama ako. 10,500. 10,500. And 4,000 plus 5,500 is equal to 9,500. And the winner for this pairwise comparison is candidate C. So, we will award one point. So, if you'll notice, Candidate A has no, um, hindi, hindi pa siya nananalo ng pairwise comparison. Thus, si Candidate B already has 3 points, and Candidate C has 2 points, and Candidate D has only 1 point. So, dahil na-compare na natin lahat ng um, candidates that need to be compared, ang rule sa pairwise comparison is the candidate with the most number of, um, points dito kapag natali mo na is declared as the winner. So, in this election, the winner is candidate B dahil dun sa pairwise comparisons sa kanya with all the contestants, majority prefer candidate B sa different pairwise comparisons. So, 3 points, B has the highest. Candidate B wins the pairwise comparison. So it's easy to understand yung pairwise comparison. You just need a lot of time and syempre tiyaga din para makapag-solve kasi these are four candidates and you compare them to each other. Like, how many times ba to? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six comparisons yan. And out of six, three votes napunta kay letter B. I hope you understand how pairwise comparison works. Basically, lahat naman ng voting methods na tinuro ko is easy to understand. It's just me long process sa kanya. And alam mo naman tayo, Felix sa shortcut. Pero dito kasi walang shortcut. So, kailangan lang matyaga ka sa pag-analyze ng tables and sa pag-analyze ng given data. So, yun. I hope that you pass your exams very well. Finals na natin. And, ayun. I really hope this helps all of you kasi, yun, love ko kayo. Hey. So, that's all. Bye-bye.